Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome to Tell Nigerians. My name is Cynthia Fregenen. As usual, we are on to today's show, but today's show is going to be about women. I'm in the women's corner today. My fellow ladies, give me your attention. Thank you. Hey, I have one topic today that is really disturbing me. It has to do with what is our contribution as a woman to our environment. How do we affect and affect our environment? First, let's come to our home. If you are married, if you are single, if you are a mother, if you are a sister, if you are a, an auntie, if you are a grandmother, what effect do you have on your environment? Like I say, the environment I'm talking about today is our home. That is to say, in any ways, we are still very important. If you are a married woman, let me start with the married ones. The way you affect the life of your husband or affect the life of your husband tells how productive he will be. If you wake up in the morning and give your husband a kiss and he goes to work, the man will be a happy man that day. And when a man is happy, you know what it is now. He'll be very productive at his place of work. If you are a married woman and your husband is not working and he has to go out to look for work and he lives a conducive environment, that is to say he lives a happy home. He wakes up in the morning, you make his tea or his breakfast ready or he, he wakes up and meets a happy wife. He leaves the house in a good mood. I tell you sisters, out there he will produce something for that day, even if he doesn't get a job that day. The fact that he's, he's leaving his home happy will help him to concentrate, will help him to focus on his search for work or whatever he's going for that day. Now let's come to the mothers. As a woman, a mother, if you wake up in the morning and you are nice to your children, you are a happy woman, you are a blessing to your children, they leave the house happy. When they go to school, they can concentrate. When they go to work, they can concentrate, assuming your children are grown up. Anywhere they are going to, the fact that they live a happy home, a blessed home, makes them productive. Now, as a single mother, or as a girl who is not married, a single lady, if you yourself create a very conducive atmosphere in your house, that is to wake up on the right side like they always say, you go out and you yourself will be productive. So that's why I say, how do we women affect or affect our environment? Now let's address each one of these topics slowly. Women, we don't know the power that we have. You remember Shaggy, the musician, who says, the power of a woman. And remember the common saying, behind every successful man is a woman. What does that tell us in a nutshell? That means everything that could succeed in this world has to do with a woman. But I'm trying to be real. And being realistic means saying it the way it is. The woman is the one with the power to make or break. The woman is the one that could build or destroy. The woman is the one who could bring up a child to be successful or bring up a child to become a nuisance to his environment. That is the reason why women should be very careful what we do, how we do, and when we do. Because when we love our husbands, when we love our brothers, when we love our fathers, when we love our grandfathers, our cousins, our nieces, our nephews, we begin to influence them positively. And when we build ourselves to be good, we will begin to put that goodness in the people around us. Most men I know, they love their mothers very much. Most men I know, even my brothers, they love their mother. What does that say about the woman? She's the first teacher that the child will get to know. And no matter how active a father is, the mother is more influential in the life of a child than the father. I have seen so many guys that tell you their mother died when they were little. 
but the little memory they have about their mother still influences their life even up to date that is why as a lady as a wife as a single mother as a girlfriend as a grandmother we are of great influence to our society and I want to use this medium to call our attention to please please ladies my fellow ladies and women and grandmothers and mothers pay attention to who you